We have new details tonight about the tragedy in the Gulf of Mexico when the Seacor power capsized. 19 men were on board when the lift boat capsized. Six were rescued, six are confirmed dead, and seven remain unaccounted for, including three from right here in Acadiana. After gathering information for over a year, the National Transportation Safety Board has finally released the details of their investigation into the capsizing. News 10's Britt LaFasso tells us what their reports indicate about the weather conditions that day. Britt. Steve Alford, the 8,000 page investigation report is filled with interviews with crew members who survived phone records, survival factors, and meteorology reports of the weather conditions that day. The NTSB interviewed the captains of several other lift boats who battled the same storm as the Seacor Power. The captain of the lift boat, Vanessa, says he experienced the weather conditions that day firsthand. He says by 3.30 that afternoon, they recorded 113 mile an hour wind gusts with sustained winds of 100 miles an hour, and there were 12 to 15 foot seas. He added, I've worked offshore in the Gulf of Mexico for over 16 years, and this is one of the worst weather conditions I've ever seen. The captain of another lift boat, the Rockfish, said, Never in my wildest dream that I thought the winds were going to be this strong. I've been working now in the Gulf of Mexico for 44 years and never experienced anything like this before. He says the wind jumped from 35 to 95 miles an hour within a couple of minutes. Now the first mate of the Seacorp Power says when their lift boat started to lean, the wind gauge showed 79 miles an hour. He says he never had a chance to look at the wind gauge when the Seacorp Power capsized as most crew members were trying to save themselves. Now like I mentioned, this report is over 8,000 pages. And we will have a more detailed report of first-hand accounts from the survivors coming up tonight at 10. Britt LaFosso, KLFY News 10.